I was the chairman of the union, youngest chairman of the coal board, and knew him. And there was 580 miners there, and we had no jobs to go to, not a one. And then within a month, everybody, every other pit wanted them. We ended up with over a thousand jobs, we didn't have enough men. But the lads, when we had the meetings and the welfare, which the community centre now upstairs, I was telling the lads the other day, where well, I used to down there, they wanted to sell it. A man, a fella called Auntie Warrior, he was the secondary, we went to Red Hills to see if we could sell it, and he said no. So we had to get in touch with the Wilkinson, Wilkinson twin solicitor family, down in London, and I was only 21 year old at the time. And they turned around and said, no, the welfare belonged to the Wilkinson Estates. It was only in trust to the Wake Deal Miners. So when I had to come back to tell all the lads, he couldn't get nothing, because they all expected a tenner or something out, there was a lot of money then. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, we couldn't sell it. And the pit, it was a good pit, Wake Deal pit, family pit. Margaret's grandfather was one of the best fushy townmans I ever had in my life. And that's what Margaret said all that for. But your family worked there, your son worked there, your grandsons. I was like sixth generation. And we all ended up in Wake Deal Pit. But there's one thing about that to work for a living. We worked in 14 inches high, that, that pit. Then it ended up being two foot six, then a yard high. And it was the best thing whatever happened when we went to Black Island East and when they sh when the seams were seven foot and eight foot and you could walk around instead of lying on your shoulders all day. The day Wheatley Hill pit shut, I was uh, in 10 o'clock night shift at Thorny. I got into the house, my dad with, with my mum and dad, um, about half past six in the morning and my dad was due to finish work at Wheatley Hill pit that day. And I drove up and part of the car, my little green, almond green mini A329 UP, which my dad had paid for, and I, I drove, he paid for. And my mother said, go down and pick your dad up because he'll be bringing his stuff from the pit. And I didn't want to go. I did not want to, I, oh, man, oh. Anyway, I drove down, parked outside the bus, and picked my dad up, and the smile on his face, magic. And he paid for the car, probably paid for the petrol, and I just didn't want to go. But I did, anyway. But uh, that's what I remember from the day Wheatley Hill closed. Any amount of coal at Wheatley Hill line down there, any amount of tonnage, they just want to know the same. We just went up the main coal away from the low main, up to the top of the same, we went up the main coal. And there was years and years and years of coal up there. But they wanted Wheatley Hill closing. They were short of manpower on the coast. And that's the reason. At first, the first week, me and Auntie Warrior were crying, crying with the men, no jobs, none at all. Mm -hmm. Like I said, 590 men, they ended up with, if, if there was 10,000 there, they were all getting jobs at uh, Asian Norton and Blackhawk. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, no, that's the only reason. Plenty call out uh, Wake Deal Pit. Still there. Right. It was only the Windyke at the top of Thorny, what was like a villa piece of the Windyke right. years ago. Did that? I'll give us a band. Mm -hmm. right. Anyway, it was only the wind dike between Wake Deal and Thorley. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Wake Deal lads, they worked on the wind dike side. We worked it, and we hauled through from the top of the Wake Deal to Thorley. And like you say, hey, some of these are, you, you say them advertising on their Facebook. It was as you walk, and Wake Deal men was walking through when it was catching the bus. That no. never happened. No. Never. Never. So when they say things like that, they tell the ladies. Is Windyke, just to clarify, is it a type of coal? No, a type of stone. It's black, oh. glossy black jet. Like jet, oh. like Whitby jet. Uh, and it, you kind of oh. cut it, you kind of date it, you kind of fire it, you kind of date out with it. That was Thorley. Oh. We oh. didn't have that trouble. Right. Thorley on it. Right. But we had plenty of hitches down there, faults. Oh. But the coal, there's still a lot of coal down there. It cost too much to produce, and it was easier to produce at the cost. Whitley Hill couldn't produce enough near the mine, because they produced less than us. And Thorley and Wake Hill, they've got an average between the two calls, two uh, calories. One week they hit the target, and we hit the target the following week. That's the way it worked. The only yeah. thing I would say about Wakeley Hill is my father was the last person to be killed in the pit. And does nothing for me, the pit. Sorry. No.
because of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My dad worked at Thornley Pit, and when he when the pit finished there, he led <clears> me to believe that it was an, an eco economical kind of thing that it was that it just wasn't worth getting the uh, getting the call out, mm. you know. So. Well, it would probably be the same as Wakey Hill. I mean, I never worked at the pit, but they didn't. It wasn't modern, was it? it wasn't modern enough? No, no. The shops and all that, you know, and how they ended up, they've gone through supermarkets and all this that. Because Wakey Hill Front Street, and I was like at the present moment, but then you could buy anything in Wakey Hill Front Street, and I mean anything you wanted. But the worst thing in the world is like Aizen now, and on Blackall, because. In the 68, the 69, 70, when the, the pits closed up here, we all got jobs down on the coast. Now, when the coast pits closed, the jobs was already took up by the lads who didn't want transferred. And when we went, we all got jobs. There's different factories and whatever. You, and now down at A's and the, uh, the, and Ord and all, the, their businesses, shopkeepers and all, they close them down. Mm. Just as anybody works down there, they are on the door. When the pit closed, it had an impact on the village. Um, and I think that was when the decline started. But our men went to the coast, the coastal pits, and when they closed, there was a double impact of pit closure. And women changed the role with the men. You know, that happened with me. You know, like, my husband was at the pit, he didn't have a job, I had to go out and work full time. So our roles reversed, which changed, you know, like, the the way everybody lived within the village. And I think most people my age did that until the men got some sort of work. I got retrained into doing something that I failed to do with school. So I got retrained and I got a, um, you know, like bookkeeping and maths and things like that. So I, I educated myself better than I had been and started the regeneration with the village, which I'm still doing, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yes, it, the, that was the upside to the to the pit closures. I definitely wouldn't let my son go down the pit. No way. As a lot of people fail to see him, but like George's father, and my father who were married that George ended up being a fitter because he had a few brains. We ended up with shovels in our hands. But my son would never go down the pit. Never. When the pit closed, you know, there's a lot of lads. I would say psh, 800 families left way to Yale, went down to Doncaster, Nottingham, Nars, Bentley, Pitts, Harlem Pitts. They all got transferred down. Freight transfers, picked our houses. You know, they had, they had a good good incentive to move. I could have gone myself, there's only one thing stopped her, she's up there now, worry. She would never go, never leave way to heal. I was out of gone. But uh, no, I, I, the lads that wanted to go, they got freight transfer, they got buses, the families, furniture, the kids, they got schools picked for them, the whole lot. They got a good bargain. But where he was left was us, the only bargain we ever got was on the coast. And there's, they close all them pits down. And I have no idea. The only thing was this government, and you want to think, oh, coal made this country, made it. And they closed all the pits down, all of them. And there's millions and millions of tons of that, of that coast. Can I just say, the population, when the pit closed, it practically halved. So there wasn't the money going into the shops. Yeah. There weren't people, it declined from then. And then when the coastal pits closed, it happened again. The money, and we've slowly seen all of the shops disappear because there was nothing replaced within the village. Everybody had to move or go to Peterlee or um, where was it? Spenny Moor, all to the factories and things like that. So there wasn't any revenue coming into the village.